Hi there, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team and I'm standing in the second floor of 449 Clinton Street. We're in fabulous Seton Village, which is a really family-oriented community centered around Vermont Square Park and of course Palmerston is a very coveted junior school. Uh, your hop, skip and a jump to Bloor Street and the Christie subway station is only three minutes away. So it's great for amenities, dog owners, kids. And uh, if you want to be sort of downtown, this is a wonderful central uh, location. You can hit the bars and restaurants, Yorkville and Bloor Street and the Annex and all the amenities nearby. Uh, this is a detached two and a half story, four bedrooms plus a bedroom potential in the basement. Uh, it was totally gutted and uh, renovated in 2008 and been beautifully upgraded since. I love the character and charm. The house is about 100 years old. Uh, and they really retain that sort of feel of it. Nice high ceilings, we're nine feet. So there's four bedrooms up here, uh, plus four bathrooms in total. And it's a really turnkey home. You can uh, literally, the floors are done, the walls, there's no plaster or anything like that. All the wiring and plumbing and, and great mechanicals. It got a fantastic home inspection report. Uh, and here's the family bathroom on this floor. So this is, that was one of two bedrooms on this level. Nice and elegant and uh, simple and beautifully decorated and nice tile work and even beautifully painted and that kind of thing. As I say, you can move right in. There's good closet space. That's the other benefit of having a more uh, freshly renovated house is they add things like that and uh, things like pot lights, of course, and hardwired uh, fire and alarm and that kind of thing. So here we are in the master and it's just an elegant, beautiful getaway here. Uh, it's got that beautiful bay window, lots of space, easy to fit a king size bed. And uh, here's the secluded ensuite. So it's got a jacuzzi style tub. I love the California shutters. Uh, beautiful, you know, tile work again. Heated floors, yummy, love that. Uh, and, you know, the tempered glass sort of doors of the shower. And it's got a nice walk in closet. You can see there's tons of natural light up here, which is fabulous as well. And lots of organizers to keep you going. I love how they sort of done everything. So there's hardwood floor everywhere, easy to maintain, uh, which is nice and sort of a nice runner for safety. And uh, we're sneaking you up to the third floor. I've done two videos, one of the main floor and the exterior, and this is of the second and third and the lower level. So you got things like good use of space here, nice knee sort of storage and additional lighting that was added. Uh, you got this third of the four bedrooms up here. Again, beautiful hardwood floors, no creaks or anything like that. Again, nice window coverings everywhere. Great home office, kind of up in the trees. And uh, another bedroom. You can, uh, you know, obviously if you've got kids, it works well. If you've got guests, it works well. Again, beautiful windows, really high quality. It got a terrific home inspection report. And uh, lots of room. This is quite a spacious bedroom. And additional lighting, and this is actually kind of a double closet. Don't you love these videos where you get to see it all? So this goes all the way back into there. Can you check it out? So I'm going to run down to the lower level now so you're going to get a bit of a, a look through the entire house. You really are in a wonderful location. You know, great neighbors. You're far enough away from Bloor that you don't really hear it or feel it, but you literally can walk to and fro. Uh, there's great off-leash dog parks. There's, um, you know, I mean, the JCC is nearby. Uh, you know, the Annex and U of T if you're a prof or, or kids going to school there or planning to. It's nice to be so close to the Annex and U of T. Here's the main level. I'm going to show you that in the other video. So this is just a quick view, but you can see the open concept and uh, just how beautifully done it is. So they widened the staircase here. They've actually dug down uh, this lower level and waterproofed it. So it's in great condition for using for family space or what have you and great ceiling height nice pot lights and uh, tiled floor so for easy cleanup there's front loader washer and dryer and its own little laundry sink which is kind of nice and, and shelving uh, it's got a full bathroom here so again if you have a teenager or a nanny or uh, guests that are staying for a while like in-laws or whatever if you've got a baby and you know families coming to stay it's nice to have that full bathroom there and this was all redone in 2013 so they've got a little rec center here, rec area, but easily could be, you know, I would love it as a workout room, for example, uh, you know, playroom, what have you. Here's understair storage. Again, there is lots of good storage in the house considering 
the whole basement is full is fully finished. It's nice to have the the little extra cubbies here and there. And this is the uh, media room. That wall is uh, treated specially for a home theater projector. And down here, you can actually see that there's some wiring. If you can check that out. And of course, if you put a door here, it would make it for that nanny, in-law, teenage or adult child uh, that stays for a long term, or a guest room, what have you. So here we are in the, you know, furnace room. You get to see the guts in these videos. So you can see there's actually gas, gas barbecue line, gas to, to the um, stove. That's the hot water tank. Again, it got a great home inspection report and uh, all the mechanics have been upgraded. So I hope you enjoyed the video and check it out in person. It's really wonderful. I think you'll love it.